God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll continue our study in the 8th chapter of the Gospel of St. John. In our last setting, we read down to verse 40. Today we will begin our reading and our study at verse 41. I trust that you have your Bibles and you will read along with us. Shall we go immediately into the Word of God? Verse 41 reads, Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they unto him, we are not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Now this was the conversation or the dialogue between Jesus and a portion of the Jews uh, that were there, um, uh, specifically the, the leaders of that day. Uh, Jesus had uh, said that they were like their father. Well, uh, this, let me give you the complete picture. Jesus was letting them know that he is uh, as his father. Uh, we can reread parts of what we read in our uh, last session, but uh, uh, to get the consensus of what we're talking about, uh, you must read verse 38. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which ye have seen with your father. So Jesus was making making a comparison here, saying that he speak what he uh, uh, says, uh, he gets it from his father. And he also let them know you do what you do uh, because you get it from your father. Uh, we can go to the ultimate there. They got it from their father, the devil, if you please. Uh, so many uh, uh, things we can go to the depths of. Jesus saying, you're acting like your father. Let, let's talk about that now. Uh, let's reread verse 39 so you can get some intelligence of what, where we are, uh, where we began reading today. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. In other words, you're supposed to act like your father. You're claiming to be the uh, 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 one of the sons or, or the seed of Abraham. You should be acting like him. Verse 40, but now ye seek to kill me, a, uh, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, Jesus is saying, I get what I get from a higher source than even Abraham. Uh, I get what I get from God himself. And then uh, uh, as we begin uh, uh, in today's study in verse 41, ye do the deeds of your father. He was not talking about God the Father, uh, uh, his father. He was talking about they do the deeds of, uh, of their carnal father. Number one, the devil. Uh, they were acting like him. In verse 42, Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. Uh, well, if, if God was your father, you would have the attributes of God. Uh, if God was your father, Jesus said, you would love me. Uh, for I proceed forth and came from the father, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Uh, Jesus couldn't have made it any plainer than that. Uh, if, you, if, if God was your father, uh, then you would love me. Number one, the word of God tells us that he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And if you say that you uh, love God and hate your brother, the Bible says you're a liar. Well, uh, Jesus is letting them know bluntly, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceed forth uh, and came from God, uh, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. <coughs> Uh, excuse me for coughing. Verse 43. Why do ye not understand my speech? Uh, even because ye cannot hear my words. And all of this is wrote in red. We're reading the words of Jesus now. Uh, I'll reread 43 and continue reading in verse 44. Why do you not understand my speech? Uh, even because ye cannot hear my words. Uh, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. Uh, you are of your father the devil. Uh, I act like my father because I get what I say from him. These are the words of Jesus. But you're acting like your father, the devil. Verse 44, uh, ye are of your father, the devil, uh, and the lust of your of your father will, ye will do. Uh, you're going to carry out actions like your daddy. 
uh, the lust of your fathers ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning uh, and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. No truth in the devil. Uh, and you're acting just like him. This is what Jesus is saying to uh, uh, unto the, the Jews, right, uh, uh, the leaders of that day. Uh, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, uh, for he is a liar and the father of it. Uh, the devil is the father of lies, and, and Jesus was letting them know that you're acting like your father, the devil. Uh, I act like my father because I speak the words that he told me to speak. Uh, I act like him because I do and carry out his will. Uh, you act like your father, the devil, because you do the same thing uh, on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, you carry out his wishes. Uh, you do what he desires. Uh, you are acting like your father, the devil. Shall we read in verse 45? Uh, and because I tell you the truth, uh, ye believe me not. Uh, 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 verse 46, which of you convicted me of sin? Uh, and if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's word. Uh, ye therefore hear them not, uh, because ye are not of of God. He, uh, Jesus couldn't have made it any plainer. Uh, I, uh, Jesus is saying that uh, uh, I'm saying uh, this as Jesus saying it. I speak the truth unto you and you will not believe it. I, I speak uh, 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 the words of God and you don't believe it. Uh, well, uh, if you were of God, you would believe the words I say uh, because I speak the words uh, of God. Uh, verse 47 again. Uh, he uh, he that is of God heareth God's word. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Couldn't be made any plainer than that. Shall we continue reading in verse 48? Then answered the Jews and said unto him, uh, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan uh, and hast a demon. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, these are the words. Now get the difference here. Uh, these are the words of the Jews. Uh, uh, Jesus stopped speaking there in verse 47. Now the Jews took up in verse 48. Then Jesus uh, then answered the Jews uh, and said unto him, Say ye not well that thou art a Samaritan uh, and hast a demon. Uh, well, they were trying to uh, read in the picture. You, you understand, carnal picture, if they... It, <coughs> If they don't want to hear you, let me let you know something. You can speak the words of truth, and if people don't want to hear what you have to say, I don't care how much truth is in you, they'll think of a way not to under, not to hear it or not to understand it or, or try to perceive it as wrong. Uh, you, that's just the, uh, the nature of evil people. Uh, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear what's right. So uh, instead of them just saying, yes, you were right, uh, they're going to try to make you look wrong and make you look like the evil one. This is what the Jews did to Jesus. Shall we read in verse 49? Jesus answered, uh, I have not a demon, uh, but I honor my father, uh, and ye do dishonor me. Uh, well, can you understand? They said Jesus had a demon, uh, and all he did was heal people. All he did was help people, and they said he had a demon. Uh, well, don't you know if they said it about Jesus, they sometimes will say it about you, but you do the right thing anyway, regardless to what people may say against you or about you. Just do what God tells you to do. Uh, speak the words of God, uh, and they can't condemn you. They might come up with some mess, but they can't condemn you. Number one, they don't have a, a heaven or a hell to put you in, so their opinion really does not matter uh, at all, uh, because they don't have anywhere to put you. When they die, somebody's going to put them place somewhere. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, I'm going to talk about that further. You better stay with this study. Well, verse 49, Jesus answered, uh, I have not a demon. Uh, I I honor my father, and ye uh, ye do dishonor me, and I seek not mine own glory. Uh, there is one that seeketh and judgeth. Uh, verse 51, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh, if a man keep my sayings, uh, he shall never see death. Uh, if you keep his saying, you will never see death. Uh, if you do what Jesus told you to do, uh, live by his examples and precepts, uh, you will not see death. Uh, now I'm not talking about the physical body, uh, but the soul of man won't die. Uh, uh, the spirit 
spirit, uh, God will. Uh, God will. Yes, you better watch me here. Uh, God will sustain that spirit. Uh, you better, if you just do what Jesus said, uh, even when the physical body dies, uh, well, one of these days it's going to be raised incorruptible. Uh, we're going to study that as we go in through uh, the New Testament scriptures. So stay with this study. Verse 52, uh, then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a demon. Uh, Abraham is dead, uh, and the prophets, and thou sayest, uh, if a man keep my sayings, uh, he shall never taste of death. Uh, well, they were looking at things in a carnal way. They were looking in th at things earthy, uh, and not the things of God. Uh, well, and people are guilty of that today. Everything's got to be logical to them. Everything's got to fit into their little old box. Uh, but sometimes Jesus, to understand the words of Jesus and what he's talking about, uh, you have to elevate your mind to heavenly things. Uh, you have to elevate your mind to eternal things uh, and not on temporal things. Uh, this physical body will die. Uh, it'll go back to the dust. Uh, but the spirit uh, that Jesus is talking about, uh, well, uh, you better stay with this study. We're going to dig into that. Uh, we're going to talk about it in depth. So stay with us uh, as, we read the Bi as we read the Bible. Uh, well, they uh, made in your windows and said words about Jesus in verse 52. Uh, let's read verse 53. Art thou greater than our father Abraham? Now get this. This is the Jews talking in verse 52 and 53. Art thou greater than our father Abraham who is dead uh, and the prophets are dead? Uh, whom make it thou thyself? Uh, verse 54. Now with which Jesus is talking. Jesus answered, uh, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. Uh, it is my Father that honoreth me, uh, of whom ye say that he is your God. Uh, well, Jesus, uh, I, I don't have to give commentary on this. Jesus is just letting them know. Uh, I am not here to honor myself. Uh, I'm not here to push my own name. Uh, I came to give you the words of God. Uh, the, the Father honoreth me. Let me let you know something. When you just do what God tells you to do, uh, he has a way of lifting you up and giving you the, the honor that you deserve. Uh, verse 54 again, Jesus answered, uh, if I, uh, uh, he answered, uh, if I honor myself, uh, my honor is nothing. Uh, it is my father that honoreth me uh, and whom ye say that he is your God. Verse 55, yet ye have not known me, uh, but I know him. Uh, and if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him uh, and keep his saying. Uh, Jesus standing flat-footed and firmly saying, I know my father. I, I know him. You don't know him. I, I know him. I, I have a personal relationship with him. Uh, and Jesus just flatly told them, you don't know him. Uh, shall we read verse 56? Uh, Your father Abraham rejoices to see my my day, uh, and he saw it uh, and was glad. Uh, well, uh, uh, you have to go to the Old Testament scripture. It talked about Jesus. Uh, it talked about him coming. Uh, it talked about how he would be when he got here. Uh, and Jesus fit every example. Uh, Jesus uh, fit every prophecy uh, in the Old Testament scripture. Remember what we're doing. Uh, remember what these writers are doing. Uh, they're putting their, their words down and letting us know uh, that Jesus was the one spoke of in the Old Testament scripture. Uh, he was the one. He is the one. He is the Christ. Uh, the one spoke of by Isaiah. Uh, the one spoke of by Micah. Uh, the one spoke of by Zechariah. Uh, the one spoke of by Moses. Uh, we can go on down the line uh, and talk about who spoke about Jesus. Uh, Jesus fit every, 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 every call uh, of what they had to say about him. Well, shall we read verse 57? Uh, then said the Jews unto him, uh, Thou art not yet fifty years old, uh, and hast thou seen Abraham? Now it flipped again, the Jews are talking. Uh, then said uh, the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, uh, and hast thou seen Abraham? Uh, question mark. Uh, verse 58, Jesus said unto them, uh, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, uh, I am. Uh, before Abraham came, to this world. I, I 
I am. Well, remember what we talked about when we opened up the gospel of St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Go to our archive session there and go back to the first chapter of the gospel of St. John and read them uh, and hear them in succession all the way up to this point. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Well, verse 59, then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. They wanted to kill him. They took up stones to throw at him. They took up stones. They were going to kill him with the stone. But Jesus went through the crowd, and Jesus slipped out and went out of there, and they did not get to lay hands on him. They did not get to stone him. Number one, his hour was not come. Remember, my friends, I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you from the depths of my heart. If you would like to talk to me for any reason, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministry, P.O. Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also contact me at my website, www.poemsbychester.com. Remember, I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God